Hi guys, welcome to Sharon's Tutorials. Today's tutorial is about page breaks in Word. Now, they're really good for making sure that content in the document flows smoothly from one page to the next, so that you can control the layout of your content so the document actually looks really good. Now, there may be occasions where you decide you want to remove some of the manual page breaks that are included in the document, and this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you two different ways of removing the page breaks. So the first way is to remove them manually. So to do that, you need to know where they are. In order to know where they are in the document, make sure you're in the home tab on the ribbon, go, go across to the paragraph group and click on the show hide button. This makes the paragraph and formatting marks visible to you. So if you click on there and you'll see all these little paragraph marks are now showing in the document. And this is where you can see the page break. So you basically scroll through the document looking for page breaks. And if you don't want one there, double click on the page break and click delete, and that will remove it. Instead of double clicking, you can place your cursor at the beginning of the page break markers and press delete. And that page break is now removed. Or you can put your cursor at the end of the page break markers and press backspace. And the same thing again, the page break will be removed. So that's the first way is to manually go through and remove them. Now, the second way, if you don't want to scroll through the whole document to find your page breaks, then the second way is to use the find and replace feature. Now you can find this in the editing group on the home tab in the ribbon. You'll have the find and replace button here, or a quicker way is to use the keyboard shortcut control H and that opens up the find and replace options. So press control H. And you'll see here, find and replace. So make sure you're in the replace tab, click into the find what box, and then click on the more button to show further options. Then click special and go up to manual page break. And you'll now see there's a little symbol here. This is the manual page break symbol. Don't put anything in the replace with box, just leave that blank. And that means that the page breaks will be replaced with a blank space. And then click either replace which removes each page break one at a time, replace all, which removes all the page breaks in one go, or find next, and that will take you through the document finding each page break in turn, and then you can choose then whether or not you want to replace it. So if we just do find next, and you can see it's highlighted the next page break, and you can just click replace if you want to. Now there might be occasions where you've tried those methods and the page breaks still won't delete. In fact, you can't even, you tried double clicking on it, and pressing delete and it just won't it won't delete at all now if the track changes option is switched on microsoft word will not allow you to delete or remove any page breaks so in order to find out if it's switched on you just go to the review tab on the ribbon and go across to the tracking section the tracking group and you can see here the track button track changes button is actually highlighted so to switch it off, you just click it and it switches off. Or you can press the drop down arrow and you can turn it on that way and turn it off that way. But you can see there it's now not highlighted. So then all you need to do, go back to your page break, press delete and it works. So that's it, two very quick ways of removing page breaks in Word. I hope you found this video helpful. Click the like button if you did and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy learning.